Welcome to Sao Paulo, Graham. We are heading to the biggest city in South America, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Since it's becoming winter here, it gets dark around 5.30. So all of our days are basically spent enjoying our time and then we've been driving as soon as the sun goes down. We're pretty excited to check out Sao Paulo, the big city again. Honestly, after just being in Rio, not really feeling the big city. There's no way we're gonna miss it. We've got a couple of things that we wanna check out here and we're excited to bring you guys along, especially for where we're gonna camp because it's looking pretty hard to find a spot to camp, honestly. Even leading up to today, around Sao Paulo is pretty hard to camp as well. Yesterday and the day before, we were having trouble finding a spot. But with population comes a lot of culture, a lot of beautiful places, and some really good food. So we're excited to make our way over to the big city once again. Wow, we came in here the right time of day. Hasn't been too bad. We are still hitting a little bit of traffic here around 9 p.m. on a Wednesday. The roads have been great quality. And uh, yeah, it's nice how Graham's sitting up here checking it out. Yeah, thanks, buddy. First stop is Pop Vegan, some vegan pizzas to end this long driving day. We did not know it's a pizza buffet, but we're gonna be able to try some things that we, we probably wouldn't have. All you can eat pizza. Like some sweet dessert pizza. Then he's trying the famous sweet pizza here in Brazil. Vitella walnut? Bomb. Bomb. And I got key lime pie pizza. I'm pretty sure that's what it's gonna taste like. But it's la mal. <laughs> All right, we're going to go to the spot we found on iOverlander, and we're hoping that it's gonna work out. <laughs> so we took some Rita on a nice long walk this morning, and now we're heading into the city from our spot. Our spot last night was so good. It was super duper quiet, sleeping right next to a nice, park that people already walk their dog. It's a little bit farther away from all the touristy stuff, which is a good thing because then it's not loud. So we're heading over into the center of the city to do a couple of touristy things. First we're going to get lunch. That was a pretty cool spot for Sao Paulo. I thought it'd be really hectic and chaotic, but found a prime spot. We're even able to walk the cat for a while. Yeah. That was super cute. He was loving it. Yeah. First stop, ramen. Did you know that Brazil has the most Japanese people outside of Japan of any country in the world? So we're gonna try the ramen here. It be good. <laughs> oh my gosh, that ramen was so good. We walked around a little bit after and I guess they hand make their own noodles. The service was amazing and the staff was so friendly and of course the ramen had so much flavor. That was top-notch ramen. We're gonna go try and take the metro over to a tall building so we can see the view from the top. But we haven't taken the metro here in Sao Paulo yet, so we're kind of learning as we go today. <laughs> These are different kinds of bananas here. Oh, yeah, they got the babies, they got the normals. Look, all different prices. Let's try the metro. Oh, you can take your bike on the train. That's cool. That must be where we buy the tickets. You got the tickets here? Yeah. Okay, so okay. for two people. <laughs> okay, so we did it where we get this little ticket. Now we gotta figure out which way to go. Hey, it worked. <laughs> Are we going to this way or this way? Ah, here's the map. <laughs> we are at Faria Lima, and we're supposed to go to Republica. Here it is. So that's in the direction of Luz. Okay, so Luz.
Okay, we had to wander around a bunch after the metro, but check it out. This is a big building we can go up here. The Farol de Santander. So the entrance for one is 35 reales, which is seven dollars US. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is really, really nice. Yeah, I kind of want to go up to the very top. I guess there's a culinary school up there, which seems like the weirdest thing to have on the top floor. <laughs> well, maybe the, the chef's like a bill. This is really cool up here in the Farol because look at these little chill spots they have. Yeah, it's been a good day here in Sao Paulo, huh? Super good. We had maybe the best ramen ever. It was delicious. After that, we walked through this really cool street market that just had so many different types of bananas. I've never seen like four or five different types of bananas. It was crazy. It is a really great view of all of Sao Paulo. There, I guess there's exhibits whenever you go down the building and there's different floors with different exhibits. And I think I kind of want to have a coffee here and then check out the exhibits. Yeah, it's so cool. What a good spot to chill and get a coffee here. What would be like the local equivalent of a coffee here? I want to get something weird. We'll see what they got on the menu. Cha, let's tea. Mm -hmm. Orange coffee. I really want to try the tapioca still. I am so, so full, but I support you. Okay, so what's the weird thing on the menu, Emily? No boba tea, but it's called bubbles juice. <laughs> that is pretty good. Little beads with stuff in the center. Like little juice in the center. Oh my god. You think you could use that straw to spit it out? Shoot it at the pedestrians? Wait, what? No, I don't want to do that because I like the taste. Going to the top. Apparently, it's a cooking school. They said it's a uh, escolar cocina or something. So I have no clue, but that's on the top floor. Might as well check it out. You can take classes here. What? You can do a cooking class with the most best view in the city right here. It's so cool. So I guess it's on the weekend, so we're completely good today just to check it out like this. But it seems like it'd be pretty fun because the view up here is even better. Wow, the view from the cooking school is nice. Don't drop your phone. So he said we can go down the stairs to the restaurant here. That was not what I was expecting. So we got the key here to the building. But she said, oh my God. <laughs> she didn't tell us about this. <laughs> Whoa, what do you think of that, babe? I think it's gonna look cooler on video than in real life, honestly. Holy! <laughs> Look, that's me. <laughs> but no, it looks epic on the filming. But this thing here is actually just a wall. <laughs> oh, it looks so crazy. Yeah, so this floor is apparently for people who live here. You think? Yeah, it says lost. What? Oh my god. I would love to live up here. Oh. <laughs> kind of looks like something out of Stranger Things. This is the best view from a skate park I've ever seen. But they said no BMX. And you don't get as high as on skates. Yeah, BMX you might hit the ceiling. But I mean, good BMXers would know. But yeah, it's just really tight transitions. Yeah, okay. Skate park was cool, but I can't believe they don't pull out BMX. But I wonder like, what kind of clientele really comes to a skate park in a tower in the sky on the 21st story. Who's, who's skating up in there? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the heck? It's actually so cool. I was playing so can read you. Cow, coyote country, KZ, KZ. <laughs> That's where Emily's mom works. <laughs> Here you got Philly. This one into a cat bed for Graham, basically. So now we took the elevator down to floor five. Apparently this is all the presidents of the bank, <laughs> Santander Bank. But apparently this was like the president's stateroom here, which is very nice, pretty. Very mahogany, smells of rich mahogany. Smells of rich mahogany. All the, the papers that you can put everywhere. Have a lot of business papers. Yes. <laughs> yes, we need business papers on this table. I'm kind of a big deal. Got another exhibition here by Vic Muniz, an artist from Sao Paulo that spends his time also in New York. 
I think they can just have windows, but I mean, it's very interesting. It's a 360. Pictures of junk, he calls it. And the city sounds. Like all these little pieces of wire, a piece of garbage, and a fire extinguisher. But it makes up this big picture that you would never actually see. I think that's really cool. So here you can see the process when they made these panties. It's pretty cool. Looks like it was huge pieces and they were using a lot of random materials from the building itself. Okay, right, let's head to another one. Dang, what is this room, huh? Let's get back to the pets. pretty crazy we've already been running around the city all day and here we go on a bike ride but we're doing it to wear out the dog the other side of this park is supposed to have a skate park and it looks really good i don't know if they're gonna allow bmx because that tower skate park didn't so far pretty successful bike ride in the heart of sao paulo i'm surprised how great this city has been to us oh no my worst fear not the worst fear, I guess, but the skate park is dark. They've lit, lit up everything around here except for this amazing skate park. That is so sick, right? Oh my God, I can't believe it's not lit up. They got the biggest Ferris wheel in the country here. Oh, it's called Van Skate Park. Yeah, there was a Van Skate Park in uh, Buenos Aires too that was one of the best. This one's way better here, honestly. No offense, Buenos Aires. Gotta get in there one of these days. Yeah, I think I'm allowed. Dang, what a setting. I really hope I'm able to come back here. The guy that runs the place here, super nice. He said, I just gotta come register. He said, BMX is allowed. The transitions look perfect. The coping, you know, the metal bar at the top is not bumping out too far, too little. So anytime the sun's out, I'm gonna come back, check this out. Hopefully, you never know how way leads on to way. So I don't know if you guys are wondering as much as we are about what these pets do while we're gone, but we are going to find out. We're going to leave a hidden camera, not hidden at all, but the pets don't know what cameras are. We're going to see what these two do while we're gone. I have a feeling one of them is going to sleep and the other one is just going to walk around. But we have set them up with water. We're gonna give Sombrita a dentist stick. We'll see what they do while we're gone. He's pretty happy we took him out for some walks today. He just laid down <laughs> on my foot like this. Hey, baby! Hey, baby! Hola, Sorisa! Gracias, amor! Amor, hola! Amor, oh! You didn't like that one? I'm sorry. Oh, she left. Here in Sao Paulo, we have been so lucky to find an amazing spot next to a plaza that is super quiet at night. It's around a 
not a gated community, but a lot of houses that have big gates in front of them. So I think they're pretty rich. I think it's a very wealthy area and it's just a beautiful little park. People walking their dogs there. I stayed there for three nights without moving the van at all and no one complained about us. We were very respectful, not loud, tried to be, you know, just trying to be normal. <laughs> we stayed in a spot that's not too far away from the center with the tourist stuff. So we could go do the touristy stuff, take the metro back to the van, take some Brita on a walk and Graham out as well. And Graham usually doesn't get out in the city. So it was great that he got to go out here. So today is going to be our last day in Sao Paulo. So we decided we are not going to drive when other people are driving. So. So luckily today we got the van charged up. It is sunny outside and I've been spending a lot of time in here kind of relaxing but also doing some research. I really have enjoyed Sao Paulo and not just Sao Paulo but Brazil as a whole. It has been so great. We left our amazing little park spot and we're over at another park. It is right next to probably one of the nicest skate parks in South America. I don't know, we should probably ask Danny. It's probably The nicest skate park might be in Colombia. I kind of want to go and check on Danny, see how he's doing. I've been in here for about an hour and he's been over there. So I so want to take some Rita on a nice little run. So I'm going to get my bike out. Let's get some exercise here. That's all you wanted, huh? Just your stick. As we fill up the van with the free water that we found <laughs> we encourage you guys to like and subscribe leave us a comment and if you want to support us some more head over to our patreon we'll see you guys next time